Hello everyone, hope you're all doing great. Today I'm going to be doing a favorite semi regrets, I'm calling it March uh, because it's March 12th today, but this is actually a going to be kind of a catch up and favorites video because uh, I lost some footage and yeah, things have got all wonky. So I'm just going to try to do a catch up and let me know if you find this helpful hopefully get all cut up and then I'm going to be doing some videos where I'm actually painting with some of my favorite supplies. I am always going to share some budget items because I don't want anyone to feel like they can't enjoy art. They can't afford all the expensive products. Um, that's near and dear to my heart because I used to be that mom. So this set is the, going to be my new uh, favorite if you have, are just starting into watercolors, that kind of thing. This is a Milang paint set. It comes with all of these wonderful colors. It's as far as I can tell, they're exactly the same as original Milang palettes that uh, everyone's been using since like 2018. I bought mine for the tin because at the time I couldn't find any pretty tins and I was buying all the colors and switching all my palettes. I and then I couldn't believe how much I liked them, so of course I kept them. Well, this is the new set because not only <laughs> It's not too much more. I think this would. I think this runs about eighteen dollars. This one, I want to say, I paid twenty one ninety nine. So only a little bit more. So it comes with a little plastic information, and it shares the pigment information, which is why I recommend this as the first one because they're de they're really decent paints to play with, and they share the light fast information. They share the pigment information, but it's nice to have it there so you can start familiarizing yourself with the pigment information. Can't sell your artwork with that, but I think if you're starting, that's probably not what you're looking for. It is like the student grade version of Paul Rubens. I think this is a great set to start with, and this will be my new uh, recommendation. These paints are really nice. They have uh, decent flow. Um, they do come in this kind of cheap um, ice, what do they call this, ice cube tray. And you cannot get refills, but that's okay. You can buy two paints and refill it later if you want. I really like these because they added the metallics. So if you're interested in the metallics, then you might really like this set. Uh, just some beautiful colors. None of them are super opaque. They behave pretty much like you would expect them to. This, and then it has that wonderful addition of metallics, which you know I love metallic, so I wish I could have had this from the beginning. They really did remind me of the Paul Rubens metallics. So if you have those already, then this is overkill. If you already have the Milang and you have the Paul Rubens metallics, then you don't need this because it's the same thing. It's just in one palette. Perfect for people who are starting out, who are interested in watercolors, but you don't want to spend very much money. I think this is the set now to go to. The next, the next set um, is a set I've been playing. The, the box comes all apart and tears, so I'm going to take this set out. But this is a little kit, and it's been a lot of fun. So this set is by uh, Hemi, and I believe they're the same company with this uh, Maya or Mia paint set that uh, is fun. I believe they're the same uh, company. So this, it has the color names um, on the back, so you can see the color names, but it doesn't have any pigment information. One thing I want to point out is that my box and, and the description says that it comes with a fountain pen. Uh, it did not come with a fountain pen. So that's the only negative about this set. But this was a really cute set. It comes with different accessories and like this. I think they're saying that you could put water in this and paint out of this and I'm not doing that. <laughs> uh, but I'm not sure what that is. But this, it does come with several accessories and this was a super affordable set. Um, great for kids or again, uh, beginning crafters. My set came with a, uh, an eraser, two pencils, and a water brush instead of a fountain pen, as well as this liner pen. Um, it's just a black, really fine liner pen. But, uh, and so the accessories, oh, there's also a paintbrush. And then this is the watercolor set it came with. 
and my daughter loved the packaging. I wasn't as big of a fan. I was already thinking about how I could put a sticker or something over that, but the paints are actually really nice. Let me open it up. So this one's a little harder to open for me personally, but look at these, they swatch out. Uh, now this set to me, the original set, to me, I, I only painted a little bit with these, are just a teeny bit better as far as pigment and saturation. Maybe I'm more comfortable with them because I use them more, but these were a lot of fun. What I really liked better about this set is when I paint with this, it's super fun and it was interesting, but I don't enjoy trying to find the colors. Here, it's laid out in a normal grid form. I'm much, I think it's because I'm much more used to it. It's easier for me to find the color. Also, this uh, you have to basically put a white piece of paper under to try to use the lid for mixing, and it does beat up quite a bit because it's such a uh, smooth plastic. So that's why I, instead of recommending this now, <laughs> I would recommend this one. It was seems like it was $17, $18, really affordable, under $20. This for this whole kit was, I want to say $21. The mixing tray lays flat. This like lays at an angle, which I'm perfectly fine with. It also came with a paintbrush and paper. Paper is what pushed it over the edge to be new favorite. This is another option if you are just starting with watercolors and you want to paint for fun. I didn't find any pigment information on this or light fast ratings, but these would be when you want to paint just for fun and you want to use a journal or cards or things where you don't care about if the colors are going to fade. Um, it came with this paintbrush. Isn't the best paintbrush, but it did pretty well. And it comes with this paper pad. Look at this. It's a thick paper pad. And it is 100% wood pulp paper, but actually it held up pretty good and it was in a block. And so this is the first painting that I did with these paints. And I use this brush the whole time. Now uh, I'm no floral expert or anything like that. I just, um, my daughter had got me this uh, notebook for my birthday, which was in February. <laughs> she bought it for me because of the pretty cover and she knows I love uh, drawing and everything in notebooks. The cover is just gorgeous. And so of course that inspired me to paint. <laughs> so I really just, as soon as I saw this, I was like, I'm gonna go use those paints and I'm gonna paint this. So I was able to get good mixes and it was so much fun. And that paper is on a block. So what you have to do is you have to take a palette knife to peel it off, but it holds it down for you so it won't warp. So for a budget set to have this good of paper with the paints, with the paintbrush, I think this is another really great set for a budget set. If you're a beginner or a crafter or anything like that, um, I think this is great. I did put some gold in there and I'll show you those paints in just a minute. So, uh, but for now, now if the price goes up, then of course my mind would change. Uh, so keep that in mind. I think for the palette and the paintbrush and the paper, I think that was a great, I think that was a great $20 to spend, depending on the price of the day, of course, because these are both set, these are all sets so far that are available on Amazon. So another budget set that I've been loving is, uh, I've been using this Van Gogh Vibrant set. Now these are student grade paints and it comes with this cute little set of really bright colors. I've been painting with this set and I've been taking it with me in my travel bag so I can paint while I'm waiting to pick up my son from school. And I have been painting in this cheap little sketchbook. Uh, so I painted this little bird and it's not the best because this is not the best paper, but I came back and just put gold everywhere because, well, that's not, okay. So this is the only thing that I, uh, so I painted uh, this tulip and this bird with the this palette and I just used the palette and I was able to get good mixes. I probably will swap out a few of the colors because you can see I, I've not even touched the orange. This set runs for about $18 and it's in a really cute little palette and then it comes with a portable brush. Now the brush I was not such a fan of. Honestly, I kept um, in my little travel bag, I have a little thing of water and 
this kept falling out into my water. So that was <laughs> frustrating, but it led me to go and actually buy a travel brush. That's amazing. I will show you in just a minute. But the, um, this pops out so you can have a bigger mixing space if you want. So I, yeah, I can't say enough. If you want to step up, you don't get as many colors, but these are actually better paint. Uh, many of these colors by Van Gogh, uh, it's the student grade company from Royal Talons. Uh, Rembrandt would be their professional line. Van Gogh is their student grade line, but many of these paints actually are light fast. Uh, I've tried really hard to not collect all of the sets. Sadly, they repeat colors. I enjoyed using that set so much in my little travel bag that I went and picked out another set because I saw that they had this set for $18. So this set, you get 15 pans. It's gonna be better mixing colors. For me, when I loved watercolors, I wanna buy all the pretty colors, but I tend to use the best mixing colors more, if that makes sense. So I need a little of both. Um, so this set, you can see right here, first set that I've purchased from Van Gogh that, that has it packaged like this. They have the, all the pigment information, the color name, the light fast rating. Um, so you can see that all of these look like they have a pretty good light fast rating. So then you can take this off and usually all of my other sets came individually wrapped. Um, but I don't really mind not opening all those. I really like to save my pigment information. For me, I will definitely take the white out, probably the black, if there is a black. I'll just put it on the back of this. I've got this like little uh, thing I painted, and so I'll just put it on the back of this. Okay, so this set comes with 15 colors, comes with um, Chinese white, quinacridone rose, Prussian blue, burnt umber, Payne's gray, permanent lemon yellow, permanent red light, ultramarine deep, sap green, yellow ochre, azo yellow, matter lake deep, cerulean blue, viridian, and burnt sienna. So right away, these are gonna be much better colors <laughs> for me to take. Um, I, I might have to switch a couple of them. Like I'm definitely going to take the white out, but it's they make it super easy because you just use this end. It has a little end and you can pop it out and then you can also change the the where the layout of the paints because I really need the yellows to be up here and then go that way I can switch out a few of these and then I will be set and I can paint and I've never had one of these palettes where it um, didn't have the part wasted right there for their name so I'm really excited to try this palette out I have a couple other palettes from Van Gogh and I really love them but I've never found one yet that has the perfect color scheme for me the way it comes. I've fixed it to be the perfect for me, but I would really love to find one that has the colors I can use all the time. That I we'll see if this is it finally. To the sketchbook. The sketchbook I bought just because it's super cute. It was pretty inexpensive and I can take my little travel bag and paint. I, and it's so, it was so uh, inexpensive that I'm not worried about wasting it and so I can play and even if they turn out terrible, then it's okay because I'm just trying, I'm just having fun. This is definitely one of my favorite things. I don't know when this came out or how I didn't know about it, but Amazon recommended it and it is a black velvet size eight travel brush because that has been my problem all along. I've never found a travel brush that I like. $20 is usually my max that I'm willing to spend on a brush. For the silver black velvet has been my favorite. The number eight is what I use I would say 80% of the time. I love this and then I use a little Van Gogh one for fine detail, but this is the one I use for painting and I absolutely loved it. It fits in most of my palettes, but best of all, fits in the pen holder of my uh, the sketchbook that I've been keeping with me. <laughs> really love that. I don't know if I would recommend this sketchbook I don't think I would recommend this um, sketchbook because the paper really isn't that good. It's just pretty and it's like any sketchbook where it's cheap enough where you can play and have fun. Definitely recommend the travel brush. So back to this, I guess I never showed the actual notebook. The The cover is pretty, I've already looked, they have, they have different colors. But this notebook itself, I haven't really played with a ton so I can't 
say if I really love it yet or not, but I will say that um, the paper is really interesting. I can't wait to paint on it. I did do some swatches and they, they turned out okay. And here's the back and it didn't crinkle too much. So this isn't gonna take gobs of water, I don't think. It is 160 GSM. I could write with fountain pen. Again, not a whole lot of ghosting, but it wasn't the pleasurable experience that you usually get with fountain pens. It wasn't terrible, but it wasn't, you wouldn't wanna write on this for the fountain pen experience, I would say, but I would say that it didn't, um, it didn't bleed or anything like this. This was using Diamine ink, so the ink can make a difference too. Absolutely beautiful. Um, I love that it has the band and the pen holder. So I'll keep you posted on that. So on the line of just wanting to have fun with watercolors, um, this book is a new book by Christy Rice and she has a channel here on YouTube and I bought this because I wanted to support a fellow artist here on YouTube and I, I have had many of you since I came from card making got a lot of crafty friends that uh, contact me often and they're dear friends and they're team fun and I'm team but I want to learn I want to I want to do both I want to have fun but I want to keep learning so but for those of you that are crafty and you're intimidated by watercoloring my daughter is one of those she couldn't care less about pigment information or light fast information values color theory she doesn't she doesn't want to learn any of that and while I'm not gonna lie, part of me wonders how I failed as a mother, <laughs> she doesn't wanna know any of that. The whole thing is you should have fun. So you might enjoy this book. So this book has lots of, um, she gives ideas of how to um, cut out some flowers and she is really into just having fun and not worrying about any rules and not, not following any of the rules. So you might uh, take some inspiration if you're terrified and you've got watercolors but you really are like having a hard time moving forward then you might really enjoy this book the one thing I will say to be careful of though I've done all the things wrong where I've just bought all the colors I was okay with it because I never loved anything like I loved watercolors so I was ready to go in full force I just realized how expensive some of the items got I used to get Schmincke half pans for three dollars a piece now they're eight to nine dollars. I'm not sure you want to just go willy-nilly buying all the paints. It's a lot of fun. I'm not gonna lie, that's why I've been doing it. It's a lot of fun. The only thing I could say about this is, and I mean this with the most respect, is a lot of these colors are not light fast. So you could be wasting your money. And these are expensive watercolors. So what I would recommend you do is use the budget sets to paint with her and have fun. And then maybe learn a little and before you spend money on any of the professional paints. Professional paints are better. They are, to me, they're more fun because you get more flow and everything. Upper Rose and Moon Glow, they're both not light fast. That means if you paint something and you hang it on the wall, it's gonna fade away. She might mention that somewhere and I might not have read that. And she doesn't care about that because she just wants it to be for fun. But just so you don't waste your money, Arches watercolors paper is very expensive. Paint tubes are very expensive. You know, you might want to check and make sure if you're okay that it's not light fast. I'm okay with some of them, but I'm definitely trying to be more careful of that now because the way prices have went up. Getting that book reminded me that I had this book. I moved with this. Be careful with it because I did damage it. So I've had this for well over a year. I think anybody could get inspiration from this book. This one, uh, I love this page. That's a really pretty page. Uh, but like, I love this one too. What I love to use this book for is when I have art block. That's when I love to go to books and I just use them to draw on separate paper and paint. And so that's what I did with this. I did paint here. The paper isn't so great for watercolors, but there's a lot of inspiration from this and she has some great ideas. I think this could be for anybody. I love this page as well. Uh, this one's really pretty. And I could still get have a lot of fun with this book. If you're getting started and you don't know where to go, I personally still love this one. I had kind of forgot that I had that. So
I'm so glad to uh, get this out and start playing with that again. Okay, so more on the line of the regrets. Uh, this set looks super fun, and I was really hoping this would be my uh, dream travel set. It comes packaged so cute. Like, isn't this adorable? It looks like it's gonna be a perfume bottle. Um, let me open it up. It comes with the little travel paint set, and it comes with a water brush. Now, this set was $15. But this set was, um, yeah, I, this, this was my regret <laughs> that I purchased because it, it's, the idea of it is really cute. It said it was pink, but it's actually peach. It does come with some little paper. Uh, the paint, I think, was close to the same quality as the other two sets by this uh, Mia. I was able to get mixes. So these are the swatches of the orig original Maya or Mia, however they're pronouncing it. Um, this is the set. So these are a little less pigmented, but they still had a, they still had some, you know, nice colors. And I was able to get a few nice mixes. Um, the problem I have with the set is it, it folds like so really compact so it's able to fit in here. The problem with that is I can't handle that that side is exposed when it's dirty. I mean if you're painting then it's going to be dirty. <laughs> so um, you can't really fold that away but also it's kind of matte and my set came with quite a few cracked and one broken and so this this one was this one I, I kind of regret this one. This won't go to waste because I will be gifting this to somebody, but I wanted to share this because like it wins for cute factor for sure, but I thought some of you might see that and I might save you. The mixing tray is kind of matte, and so I'm not sure if that will stain or anything. If I had it to do over, I wouldn't have purchased this one. Uh, but it's super cute, I'll give it that, it's super cute. And the water brush also, it doesn't Fit in so you can't fit the water brush in. Um, also, I've been loving the Derwent ink tents. I waited way too long to get these and now I'm using these almost, I would say I've been using these almost every day. I did get the full set which uh, all swatched out looks like this. I think this is on Arteza 100% cotton paper. Really good swatches. The only one that I had problems with is this outliner which now that I'm looking at it, I think maybe it's supposed to be a pencil and not a color, but <laughs> I don't know. But that was the only one that I was like, that's really weird. And it just dawned on me that that's probably what that is. <laughs> thought, I thought these were for crafters because they're not 100% light fast. They're, I think they're 70 to 80% light fast. They're a lot of fun. And uh, this, these are the quick things that I did with them and I had so much fun. So I've been using, I have, I'm not gonna share all my artwork I've created with it, but these are two things that I did with these. They're just a lot of fun. I waited way too long to try them. Is this not the prettiest palette ever? Look at this, it's wood and it's magnetic. So it opens up and then you get to have all your lovely pans. Uh, this is a palette from the CSY Art Gallery. It comes with the half pans. Uh, it comes with glue dots that you can stick on the bottom of your half pans. Uh, this, so I filled up half pans with my Holbein paints. I don't think I would want to use a ton of water in here because it's wood. This would be perfect actually for metallic paints because I don't use, uh, I don't mix with them often, but it does have a mixing area actually mixed on it. So I don't know how bad it beads up. So I actually can't speak to that. But for the way it looks, I love it. I love that it's wood. I loved it so much, I purchased another one that I thought it would open up with you guys. So this is how they come. So they come with uh, the glue dots and they come with all of these half pans. And look, they're all perfectly white, uh, perfectly square. They, I actually like these half pans much better than I do the, the ones I get from Jackson's. Comes with a mixing area. It does look like there's a teeny gap, so I would be really worried about 
uh, using very much water with this. But this is probably going to be, uh, I will probably put something in with metallics or something that I don't generally mix a whole lot with. A little bit of hot glue and seal that myself. But I think it's so pretty and I love that it's wood and so that uh, that's one of my favorite finds that you'll definitely be seeing me use over and over again. So I thought I would share that. The owner of this shop is, uh, she is from, she lives in China and she, it's like her small business and she sells these paints. And these paints are handmade using German pigments. And you know, the German pigments uh, is what uh, Calero and Fine Tech use and they're just a really good pigments and so she uses those pigments with some essential oils forget what else but it sounded great and so I had to try them they are so affordable I believe I I paid ten dollars and eighty cents for this so that that made it like a dollar eighty a half pan for gold I'm not gonna lie I absolutely love my Calero that's these are my heart these are my uh, I love them I love everything about them but when I get them on sale at Jackson's, they're $4 a half pan. They're light fast, they're artist grade. I love metallic paints and I use them a lot, but a lot of times I'm not doing it on artwork that's gonna hang on the wall. It doesn't need to be light fast. So I figure I might as well save these for when it matters. Really enjoyed them. Gold set right here. This is what I use to paint these like little bees and uh, little flowers and just random a uh, little butterfly and a uh, little bee and see how metallic they are really pretty and I you treat them just like you would any other metallic paints you really want to uh, set a drop of water and let it sit for about three minutes um, so they have she has several sets for sale some of them are super affordable some of them are pretty pricey this set was the kind these sets were little and you could get different sets and they ran about uh, between ten and twelve dollars a piece and they really cute the new one that I received and uh, so they come sometimes silver sometimes gold apparently and it said it's um, handmade honey watercolor on Amazon it says that they use says she uses German pigments with essential oils but they come packaged like this super cute they have a silicone pack of course because of the honey <laughs> And then they do, they come with a magnet. And look, they come individually wrapped, so cute, with the color swatched on. So then they have the name on them. And so this set is kind of like for fall. Um, they're just wrapped up in little, like little candies. So I'll go ahead and open this one so you guys can see. And what I did, I took mine um, I took my stickers and put it on the side. That's one thing. Uh, don't ever forget to label your pans. You think you'll remember, you will not. <laughs> uh, and then I put that, uh, and then I put my little, uh, I use some thin flexible magnets that I've been using forever. And um, because I don't like my half pans on high heels. And then, so this is the larger set. And this set was not affordable. This is... This was an investment um, that I used for some gift cards. It's a little, this set was a little hard to open. So I'm thinking about moving these to that wood palette. But it comes like this. And then look at all those gorgeous colors. So pretty. They're really pretty. Okay, now we're going to go to the artist grade. I would have to say that the new Roman Schmall colors are amazing. I think I, I purchased these in January. And let me see, I have some bigger swatches. This is the Roman Schmall palette. Uh, if you haven't purchased any paints from Roman Schmall, I really recommend you start with these first because this was, I wanna say I paid 34 for this. You, the bad side is you do have to get it from Jackson's. Now this palette does not come with the, I have added these uh, four right here in the middle, I've added those. So that does not come. You just get these colors right here. But I have added Quinn Gold, Potter's Pink, Cobalt Teal, and a Schmincke Gold because this is what I needed to, tr to take to travel. So, but this is another uh, affordable budget set. 
first of all. So here's the travel set. These are the colors you get in the little travel set. Roman Schmall had some new colors and I believe I purchased all of the new ones except for a green. They're honey based. They can be a little sticky, but they re wet wonderfully. And they're just, it's just such a wonderful brand. And these are the new colors that came out. I purchased these in January, I believe. And this is what the colors look like. A lot of fun colors, but I think the standouts for me are this, um, this red color right here. And I apologize I didn't write it down. I plan to do a different video to find out for you guys. What color is the really nice one? Okay, it's Quinn Scarlet. <laughs> that one, when I swatched that out, I loved it. Um, definitely the Quinn Purple. Uh, I apologize, I meant to write down the colors and the pigment information. This is on budget paper. Look how gorgeous those colors are. Look how gorgeous. And then this is on arches. You get really good pigment, really good color. See, that's that scarlet. Isn't that gorgeous? I think that's the scarlet on budget paper. But on arches, is that not the most gorgeous color ever? Uh, the Quinn Purple, of course, gorgeous. Um, he did also have a, a cobalt dark green, and it's made from PG-26, but I knew I had the Schmincke version. I, I'm trying to do better about not buying every single color. Definitely the Quinn Scarlet and the Quinn Purple, the Intense Ultramarine, um, Blue, Ridge, Blue Ridge Burnt Sienna, Iron Chrome something, and Shadow something. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but I definitely would have got those again, but I really love trying all the colors because the thing is by just the swatches, I love those colors, but all of these colors that aren't so perfect might be excellent mixers. They might have unique pigment information, so I don't regret any of them. I don't, <laughs> I don't regret any of them and they're an affordable price. So, uh, yeah, there's my, it's fun. It's so fun. My next favorite is the Schmincke Floral. I had so much fun playing with this. I've left it just the way it came and played and mixed with just that palette. It's been so fun. I'm not sure if it's available anymore. I really don't like to show things that aren't available anymore because then I feel bad and I don't want anyone to go pay more on eBay. Yeah, but I've had so much fun playing with these. And in fact, I've just been putting it in my travel bag every now and then I'll switch out and just take this with me. This is one thing that I started to paint. I only had 15 minutes while I was in the car uh, to paint, to start painting this peach. And also I love this. This is the perfect sketchbook and yes, it is the perfect sketchbook. Super pricey, but the paper is almost as good as Arches and I absolutely love it. This is a, this is a peach that I started, so I didn't get very far, but it's, the paper is just amazing. <laughs> Gets you get the front side and the back side. So this is even on the back side. So this would be even better. Expensive, so it's still a little bit like, I feel like, when I'm feeling fancy, I can use it. <laughs> Every time I can find these on sale, I will definitely be getting more of these sketchbooks. This is the perfect sketchbook. The everyday sketchbook is still nice. Um, I did paint my other one. I'll have to share that in another video. If you're willing to spend a little more, the perfect sketchbook, it really is. It lives up to the name. It is the perfect sketchbook. The other thing I've been playing with the most since Christmas is... I made my own Schmincke granulating palette. <laughs> so you guys know I shared with you last time I was loving playing with all the super granulating colors. I put them on a large ceramic palette and this is the colors. Added a few mixing. Loved it. Still have that. I planned on making half pans of all my favorite super granulating colors and then I bought some full pans of my favorite. This is a swatch of my favorites. I just thought, why not just keep mixing and having fun and exploring? So that's what I did and oh my gosh, 
Not that I don't love the super granulating colors that Shamika gave us. Highly recommend you get the dot chart though, because why not try to mix them first and use the dot chart and see if you can get the color <laughs> before buying them because they're very pricey. So this is the um, this is the, how, the palette I'm using right now. It's pretty heavy. I might kick a couple colors, like I might kick the green out, but so far I've been really loving playing with this and I'm probably gonna make a separate video sharing more about this because I've absolutely loved it. Okay, and I believe the last thing is this. This is a leather traveler's notebook that I found on Amazon and the reviews were really good, but I thought, well, I'll try this small one. I've never tried one of these little small. This is the passport size and I absolutely love it. The quality is amazing for the price. It looks just, it looks just like a Chic Sparrow, which that's my favorite, but they're super pricey. Also the one I have, I'm always worried about ruining it. So tend to worry I'll get ink on it or paint on it or, you know, I, I want to keep it nice because it's so beautiful. Uh, this one, I won't worry about. It's already rugged. It's ready for abuse. So I think I won't worry about it and I haven't filled it up. I'm gonna try not to like worry about decorating it and all that, just use it for what it's supposed to be for, painting. So I found this little, um, I've been doing just a few swatches and it says I've got a Stillman and Burn Azita series. So I need to find more like real watercolor paper. Uh, this works okay, but it, it's not my favorite. So, but it's got a pen loop, which I have a mechanical pencil here that was sent to me by Upcrate, and um, that's been great to have. So I love this so much that I went and got the larger size. This one, so this is uh, handmade, but it is leather. I'm not sure if they have um, other options. But this is how it comes, and I believe this larger size, oh, okay. So this one is really pretty too. It's actually darker. I like that it gets lighter. Uh, it has a leather smell. Um, it's still gorgeous. Guys, this was $35. <laughs> like I've wanted one from Chic Sparrow for so long, but it's gonna be almost $200 and then they're sold out. And then not that I won't buy another one from Chic Sparrow, but you know, this one is gonna be what I need it to be which is not worrying about how beautiful it is, but actually using it. Oh my goodness. I can't believe it's this nice for the price. Let me zoom out a little bit so you can, this is so gorgeous. I cannot believe the price of this. So I'm gonna go immediately and see if they have more colors. See, it has marks, but that's okay because it's it's supposed to. I'm. It's gonna be okay if I get ink on it, if I get a little paint on it, if it gets wet. Oh my goodness, look at this pretty design inside. So this is the A5 size. It has the band, so I'm gonna find the perfect watercolor journal to put in here. It has a pen loop, which I'll probably keep another mechanical pencil. Eh, this is kind of a game changer for me because I really love sketchbooks, but they're expensive. And I would really like to just keep the same insert and keep changing out to a different watercolor pad. So I would love it if you would recommend your perfect um, watercolor paper that's a good paper that I could put in here that's for A5 size because this is gonna be perfect because honestly the thing that has made me paint the most is I, and I don't know why I didn't do this like years ago, I would take random things with me, but I never, I was always missing things. So I finally set it up how I need it. I. Um, it's one of the Kipling bags that I bought to keep pencils in. It doesn't quite, I, I only like to keep the pencils in it if I can put them in the spot. So I have picked some of my ink tents, some of my favorite uh, luminance, my Holbein White, of course, can't be without that still. My electric sharpener that I like so much, I had to buy a separate one just to go in here. My Arteza water brush. Um, I keep a pencil sharpener in here and I keep it on a magnet um, because then I can get all the shavings in here, but it doesn't rattle around. And then all I do is I pack whatever, whatever um, paints I'm, whatever paints I'm needing that day. 
and then I just load it all up. I usually put a microfiber cloth, my sketchbook, or I can take my traveler's notebook and I can put it all in there and go. <laughs> and it's like a suitcase where it'll fit if you make it. The, and then this is a, this is actually, I got this at Target. This is a little pack for bottle. It's supposed to be for hand sanitizer. I had good intentions. I was going to put some essential oils or something that worked like hand sanitizer, but I fill it with water. Um, take, I can put the water right here and, and it holds it. And then I fill this with water and then I take my little travel brush and I just stick it right in there and, and I'm good. And I paint like on my lap. So of course I am sometimes if I'm using yellow, I switch it. Um, I tried switching it around, but I don't, I don't like to go down. You know, I've got these, they're on a slant because I actually have, I don't have them on magnets. If I had them on magnets, I could probably do that, but I have them uh, installed properly. So they are kind of down a little. So, but I have painted so much since I finally figured out to do this. Um, I really have. I've painted every day. And it used to be I dread going to wait in the car, like I'm gonna be bored, I'm just gonna sit and scroll Facebook. Now, I can't wait to go. Get in line and get the first spot and then wait and then I just get to paint and I get to just enjoy that time waiting for my son. So that's really helped me and so I hope that that helps somebody else that uh, you have that. Really just the time crunch problem. The peach is the only thing I can <laughs> find to share but I've painted lots of things. Do check how much it is and divide it by which colors you'll use and see compare the palettes. Unfortunately Schminka I really can only recommend you shop at Jackson's because it's, it's just too expensive other places if you're going to be mindful of your budget. But those are my favorites that I've been using and loving. And so hopefully that catches me all up. Hope you guys all have a great day. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.